Hey guys, it's Baskets. One of the biggest questions I get uh, as far as diet goes is what do you eat to keep going? And another question is why do you eat so unhealthy? The people that watch the spam and the sodas in town and all this other stuff. The kind of properties that I'm looking for is electrolytes, caffeine, uh, vitamins and minerals, sugars, carbs, potassium. Protein is very important for uh, maintaining muscle mass. Once you lose that muscle mass, it takes a long time to regain it. Protein, you have to have it. For electrolytes, a couple things I like is the Mio. If you've seen them, they're little plastic bottles. Um, I stock up on like two of those. Throw in three too. I mean, it's those are excellent. You have your caffeine, you have your electrolytes, you have your B vitamin, which is really, really important to keep you going. Another thing I've seen hikers do, uh, Nope used this a lot. He bought a Gatorade can. I mean, you can get a smaller one depending on what size you can get. Put it in Ziplocs and you got Gatorade on trail and that will keep you going like no other. If you can get it, uh, Gatorade in powder form is excellent. When I roll into town, first thing I do in a grocery store is I, I look for Pedialyte to recover and uh, coconut water. Coconut water is another great one. It's uh, excellent for uh, rehydrating and keeping you feeling good. Since I'm stoveless, I'm no longer able to enjoy a hot cup of coffee like I did in 2017 or like I do you know, on regular day hikes. I have to drink cold soap coffee. All you do is put a little bit of coffee in a smart water bottle. Sometimes I'll throw in a breakfast essential in there, shake it up, and you get this beautiful shake uh, with everything you need. And, uh, you're good to go. Sometimes midday when you have that crash, a couple packets of coffee, and uh, I feel like I slept a couple hours. I feel excellent, so caffeine's a big one for me. Sugars, uh, I like Skittles, uh, candy bars, m and dried fruit. Uh, if you can get it and it's not too expensive, dried fruit is excellent. Trail mix is really good, and uh, you can get you know powder-formed uh, drinks that have sugar in them and that's that's what keeps you going that's what keeps your muscles um, climbing and descending and everything people will say oh how come you don't pack out more fruit but packing out fruit it's only gonna last like one day you can get a dried fruit for sure um, I suggest packing that out but as far as fruit goes uh, when I get into town and there's a buffet you know I'm getting that fruit you know I'm getting the fruit and I dig into salads and I get my sugars that way. I get get some fruit that way and pick out fruit on that first day out of town. But other than that, it just doesn't last that long. So vitamins and minerals. Uh, one thing I like is breakfast essentials. It's got 21 different vitamins and minerals. And uh, per serving, it's 13 grams of protein. Um, also, usually I pack out gummies, little gummies. Um, just throw them in a Ziploc bag and... Uh, you can get them in every town. Um, basically, it's just a multivitamin in a gummy form. And um, magnesium is great. I take two or three magnesium at night. A lot of times in the morning, you feel really recovered. Magnesium is a great, great little uh, little pills you can stock up in Walmart or anywhere. Sport Legs is a good one too. If you can buy it, I get it online. It's uh, kind of like a magnesium pill, basically for recovery. You can definitely feel the effects of uh, your muscles don't fatigue as fast when you're taking sport legs. Protein up. I mean, you got to have your protein. And what do I like for protein? Um, if I could afford it, I'd have beef jerky in every resupply. But it gets a little, a little expensive. Um, some towns, they charge like 8 bucks for a little packet of beef jerky. And when you open that packet, it's like on the bottom. And literally four minutes later or two minutes later you got nothing but uh beef jerky um spam is good um tuna packets load them up with oil sunflower oil or just whatever you can put in as long as the higher calories they have the better it is uh, tuna packets are excellent and uh like, like i said earlier breakfast essentials uh 13 grams of protein and you got all your vitamins and minerals in there um slim gyms basically whatever you want to get the depending on your body weight to get that protein um to just do that i love spam i love tuna and beef jerky carbs 
this is where the unhealthy part comes in. A lot of people like carbs. Hot Cheetos, Cheetos, Oreo cookies, um, different cookies. I mean, you name it. I eat it. It's just basically you got to have your carbs. If you want to keep your weight up, um, if you want to keep going, this is where like some people say, oh, when I hike, I'm going to eat. I'm only going to eat healthy. Um, maybe, but when you get out there on the trail and you're through hiking, you Cheetos and all that stuff is just it just fills you up and uh, those carbohydrates that's what keeps you going down the trail keeps you climbing keeps you descending um, I love Oreos like Oreos are excellent high in calories um, Cheetos are great Doritos like all that stuff yeah it looks like I'm just pigging out and eating unhealthy but when you're on trail like you're burning um, three to six thousand calories maybe more and um, you need to replenish those calories and that's when you end up eating all that so-called junk food because without it i mean you can't there's only so much you can pack out and uh, that's why you see a lot of through hikers with uh, these little snacks throughout the day you got to eat every hour every hour and a half to keep yourself going so when i get into town um if there's a buffet or if there's a restaurant I will try to get a salad for sure. Like if there's a buffet, one of the first things I want to eat is have have a salad with my meal. If there's a grocery store and you can grab a couple of those bagged salads and throw in, you know, some blueberries in there, all that good stuff. That's when you can eat healthy. So I'll have a salad, I'll have some fruit, I'll have things like that. And then when you're back on trail, it's back to your normal meals. The lightweight foods that are high in calories and what you're able to pack out. Um, another thing is some hikers don't have a budget, like they're not able to spend thousands of dollars on a through hike. They try to do it as cheaply as they can. That's why you see them packing out just what they find in hiker boxes sometimes. So it's your budget also determines how much you can spend. I mean, that's another thing. Some people can't afford the dried fruits. Um, the, they're a lot higher priced than, you know, other snacks and now let's go over what I would normally eat on a typical day while through hiking for breakfast usually I would eat so much at night that I didn't wake up starving in the morning but first thing I would do is I wouldn't eat I would drink some coffee put it in a water bottle sometimes I would add breakfast essentials sometimes I wouldn't add it a candy bar is definitely a good one get that sugar in you that usually got me going oatmeal is great you can just put, take a little packet of oatmeal. If you don't have a stove, just rip it up, put in, put water in it, and uh, mix it up for about 30 seconds, and it's great. Some oatmeal, if you got some dried blueberries, you got yourself a gourmet trail breakfast right there. Uh, for snacks throughout the day, like I love like nuts, seeds, um, pastries, like a honey bun in, in midday, and then maybe make a breakfast essentials. Um, candy bar, some Skittles, um, chips, anything like that, you know, that's great. You want to snack about like every hour you want something. You want that healthy bar or you want some seeds or you want some almonds because if you don't eat for three, four hours, that's a big mistake that, you know, I did that a couple times and you feel the crash and then no matter how much you eat, it's hard to kind of get back into it so you want that you want the some kind of snacking throughout the day so for lunch and dinners most of my lunches and dinners are pretty much the same I'm a big fan of mashed potatoes that's where cold soaking comes in uh, you just tear up a packet of mashed potatoes put some delicious uh, spring water in there and you mix it up for about a minute and put some tuna in there tuna with uh, a little bit of olive oil works great Sometimes I would just eat a tuna packet or put a tuna packet in a tortilla. One of the healthy things that I love packing out that actually lasts for a couple days is avocado. So you put avocado in a tortilla with some tuna and some hot sauce and you got yourself a delicious wrap. And the beauty of the AT is like when you're on trail, when you buy a pizza when you're in town, you can pack half the pizza out. Um, or if you have some leftovers, you bought like a big rotisserie chicken in town. You can pack half of that out and make tortillas for the next couple days. Yeah, basically we 
packed out a lot of town food. Hoagies, uh, Julie loved the hoagies and the pizza and Doc packed out chicken wings, just anything you can you can pack out. Just get a nice big Ziploc bag um, and uh, yeah, you can pack out a decent meal. And then one thing that I was I kept thinking about is, can I eat healthier on the PCT? I know I eat, you know, I try to have the nuts and the healthier foods in towns, but what ways can I eat healthier? I know people have suggested many different healthier options, like more, you know, dried fruits and things like that. I've been thinking about this. I've quit soda for about a month and a half now, and I can say I felt way healthier um, not drinking soda. I used to drink at least a couple at night, a couple during the day, so I definitely had drank way more soda than I normally would, and um, I've been feeling a lot better. So I'm definitely working on my diet. All the stuff that I eat on a through hike that I've mentioned, like none of my resupplies are perfect. We eat plenty of junk food, so I'm trying to kind of see how can I be a little bit healthy? What are some healthy snacks that you pack out on a through hike or a weekend hike? Um, just you can put that in, in the comments below and I'll check it out. Definitely looking towards the Pacific Crest Trail and maybe eating a little bit healthier, but then at the same time I gotta I can't lose too much weight. So and AT17 and CDT18, I went from about 205 pounds to 165. This year on the Appalachian Trail, I went from about 196 to 170 ish. After this trail, this is the best I've felt. You don't want to lose too much weight on a through hike. You see, you see people go and lose just a ton of muscle mass. They look like sticks up there. So I'm just trying to figure out a balanced diet. Um, while through hiking so any kind of tips are welcome and uh, share what you normally eat got a little breakfast carnation and coffee mix if you can't handle the flavor mm -hmm. you can always mix it up with something else and then hide the flavor but no, you nope you're schooling it? people on the spam <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take a little more. That'd be awesome. What is it? Uh, Pepsi. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's fair. You got all your, you know, your fats, your calories, um, all your protein, a lot of sodium. Um, I think it's got like almost a hundred, almost a hundred grams of fat, thousand calories, uh, seventy-two grams of protein, and one twelve-ounce can. All right, out on the lunch break. Nope has finished the uh, big can of Spam. There you go. Flat. Some wow, healthy meal. A lot of good stuff. Julie, what do you think about paying out some hot dogs? I already told you I don't need more issues right now. I already got the foot issue. I don't need stomach issues. Hot dogs are a through hiker staple. I just went stoveless. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Julie doesn't have a spam. Nope. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's the golden ticket right there. It may be too late. And we got brownies. <laughs> yeah, awesome. and I'm gonna, you know, I just want to save a few of those for the other guys. Trail Magic Hot Dog. Awesome. <laughs>